Hello and welcome to episode 26 of the Daily Decrypt. I'm Amanda. Today Bitcoin is $384. Counterparty is a dollar. Madesafe coin is a cent. And Supernet is a dollar and three cents. Today's episode is brought to you by Telebit. BIP 101 has been deployed on Bitcoin's test net. What is BIP 101? It's the Bitcoin improvement proposal, which would increase Bitcoin's maximum block size from one megabyte to eight megabytes. This is seen as sorely needed, as many of Bitcoin's more recent blocks have been full, which means longer confirmation times as well as higher fees. The increase to eight megabytes is scheduled to be pushed to the Bitcoin mainnet on January 11th of 2016, and it will be up to Bitcoin's miners to vote on it from there. Bitcoin Black Friday is set for November 27th. The holiday is in its third or possibly fourth year now, and it basically involves a bunch of merchants getting together and listing their discounted services or products on bitcoinblackfriday.info. The site is currently seeking vendors who would like to join their merchant list for the 24-hour sale, and the merchant list is reported to be about 2,000 and growing. Vindyne8 has tweeted that Coinomat is now offering crypto to debit card top-up services. This means that Coinomat joins other companies like eCoin and Zappo who offer the same thing. The idea is relatively simple. The user sends cryptocurrency to the company plus a fee. The company converts the crypto into fiat and deposits it at a bank. And then the bank issues a prepaid debit card to that person. While this is a convenient and novel workaround for the fiat economy, uh, users should take note that the banks involved will still have access to their purchasing history and use location, just as with any traditional debit card. Camgirl Royal Tiffany has given an interview to the news outlet Coinivore. Tiffany offers her beauty by the minute on the Bitcoin accepting adult streaming site Zotica. Tiffany has shared with Coinivore how pleased she's been since beginning to work on a cam site that pays her in crypto. Keys for the popular game Counter-Strike Go are now available for Bitcoin at the site keysforbtc.com, but the crypto action for this particular game does not end just there. The site Leet is a Bitcoin gambling platform for not only Counter-Strike Go, but also Minecraft and League of Legends. As Leet's slogan goes, you can kill your friends and take their money. (music) Cryptocurrency mining may soon get cheaper. That is, if you are mobile and or innovative enough to jump on some of the stuff that's happening out there. A wind farm in Texas is now generating so much energy that they're giving it away for free at nighttime. In addition, a YouTube channel called Create This has published this video proposing how wasted DC power from solar panels can be used to directly power energy-hungry cryptocurrency miners. That's pretty cool. And technical slash legal theorist Conrad Graff has published a new book entitled Is Bitcoin Ownable? Property Rights, IP Wrongs, and Legal Theory Implications. The author says, this is a study in the foundations and implications of action-based jurisprudence forged through applying it to Bitcoin. The book is available for purchase at popular ebook retailers, but the author is also giving away a free PDF version right from his website. And thank you to today's sponsor, Telebit. Telebit is a new bot for people who use the messenger Telegram. The bot acts as a Bitcoin servant of sorts in that it generates new wallets on command, allows you to send Bitcoin to any other Telegram user without their having to create a wallet first, uh, gives you automated price notifications, and more things. And for anyone interested who does not use Telegram, there is also a standalone Telebit app in the Android App Store. So cheerio to you! And remember to share the Daily Decrypt with a friend today to spread the crypto love. 
I didn't change the background to red for nothing.